You are too big of a dog. We're gonna wave. Hi. <laughs> okay. We had to improvise a little bit on our process videos because I broke my ankle. Um, our studio is in the basement, so getting up and down the stairs, it's a little tough. I've been spending a lot of time sketching new ideas, focusing on illustration. So I was gonna show you guys some sneak peeks of what we've been working on. I have here a bunch of new cards that we created a few months ago. There actually is three different color combinations that we screen printed in three separate batches. And when they were done, we just weren't in love with how they came out, so we set them aside for a while. If you look at the color palette as a whole here, it's just not, like, it's this weird outlier. Like, you've got all these really bright, you know, like, CMYK colors, and then you've got this dingy green and, like, muted pink, and I don't know, this color palette just... Didn't work for me. I wasn't happy with it. So I wanted to work on those. Um, I'm glad that I tried it out. I mean, it was a lot of work to print all of these cards, but I learned so much about overprinting. And some of these worked. Like, if you look at, like, I, I kind of already showed you this green color. I just love that. I definitely want to use that still. And then um, that purple. I know it's just on this little corner. Can you guys see that? Yeah, I have to put it next to my face. Purple. I really like that. So um, I got to work playing with different colors for these cards, which is something that I could do upstairs because I keep these ink books when I print. Um, I'm on my second one now. They contain swatches of everything that we have printed since I started keeping track. This is the Mike Birbiglia poster we did in January of 2013. So that's when I started making these swatches. It's got just little recipes. If I'm using a Pantone color, it'll say which Pantone it is. Um, and yeah, they're so invaluable. Like if the house caught fire, I think these would be the first things I would grab. And in Photoshop, I was able to just uh, play around with all the different inks that we've got downstairs. And then when I'm ready and if I'm on my feet again, you can get downstairs and print these. I'm just gonna show you guys kind of a little time lapse of me messing around with these colors in Photoshop and I'm uh, excited to show you what I came up with. 